in second corinthians chapter 2 verse 11 and then we read obadiah 1 17. obadiah 1 17 is the focus of our prayer today that is upon mount zion shall be deliverance and holiness and people are trying to be holy without being delivered and i don't think it doesn't make sense upon mount zion there shall be what deliverance gives you access to holiness so if you are not delivered holiness is not possible Many people are trying to be holy, but they are not settled. Your mind is going to play a major role in the act of holiness. That's why soul is very important. Lest Satan show get. Lest Satan show get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his. The devices is plural. So Satan has more than one way to deal with believers. The devices are talking about different strategies through which the devil can defeat. Some people don't know that Satan can defeat a Christian. Even though the Bible says whatsoever is born of God overcomes the world. That is by default. We overcome the world. But if we are ignorant of what the devil can do and we undervalue him then it's going to shock it's just like a mass shock history <laughs> they undervalue their power and cnn report said they've been training for the past two months very close to the gaza border but the intelligence couldn't pick anything so it was a shock they struck them one of the very important day in history it was unprecedented attack something they don't imagine and that's the way the devil works and uh, you must understand that demon spirit they are vengeful spirit let me firstly show you the origination of evil spirit because people should ask that question why 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 do you think the devil hates not the devil does not hate only Christian. The devil hates God's creation. But Christian top the list. <laughs> Christian does what? Satan hates everybody. Including those who are working for him. And that is why if they ask you to do a sacrifice because of money ritual, you fail that time. You die. The devil does. Even the people that serve the devil, he hates them. So where does the hatred come from that's the first thing i want to really show you where do you think the hatred start from the hatred started when god sent him out of heaven because there is nothing satan is doing now that can be compared to the activities of god giving to him in heaven the lucifer means in the hebrew the bringer of light lucifer manifested light in god's presence and god is pleased with the light that the devil manifested that's why the bible called him the father of light in whom there is no variableness neither shadow of tongue god is the father of light but there are angels that are configured to manifest light based on their realms so the bible says when iniquity was found in the devil the iniquity that was found in the devil is the iniquity of the self-will it was self-motivated self-invented self-manufactured and god cannot withstand anything that is darkness so god is light and in him it's not that so when the devil was cast down and I told you that the rebellion of every other angels was the rebellion which we call the law of leadership, the fall. Because some angels were under the leadership of the devil. A little living it, living it the whole long. Once the head is rotting, the body is also subject to condemnation. And that's why when, we are, when Christ died, you die with him did you actually die well the bible says you die with him when he was raised you were raised with him now he's seated we are what 
So it is the same law that disfavored the devil, the same law favored us. So when the devil rebelled, every angel under his influence, we have to go. Because the portion of Satan was those angels. So God banished them. And when they were banished, God had different judgments for those angels. Some of them, according to Jude, had been reserved into the everlasting darkness. God didn't strip them of their celestial body, but they are chained. They are as strong as Satan. And the Bible said they will be let loose during the end time, um, their scatological study, because they were bound at the river Euphrates. So they will be released. They are angels of destruction. But there are other forms of angels that God stripped them of their celestial body so they cannot function in their original bodily form. Do we understand? Those ones are what we call demons. So a demon is a disembodied spirit that seeks someone's body to find rest. So every demon that does not function in a body is a restless spirit. Is what? And that's why they are looking for your life. So that they can be hiding in the stronghold. That's why the Bible says, as soon as the enemy hear my voice, they will flee out of their hidden. So the hidden places are the places that hide them. So that people wouldn't know that they're the one behind the ordeal. They are the one behind miscarriage, discouragement, manipulation, sickness, and all kinds of things. So because of this, Satan has that hatred. Demons also have hatred for every creation of God. Hallelujah. Now, for you now to have received Jesus, you are now top on the list. So, any slight error is a knock. Any lackadaisical attitude is an advantage. Any forms of life that does not power God's purpose will fall. So, let's say that should get an advantage of us for we now read this scripture in tpt the passion translation and read it in message translation because i want us to pray some prayer today i'm going to show you four areas in our lives that we need to deal with the crack the hole the leakage and the route or the root whichever one you are going to deal with those things satan is taking advantage of the crack we are going to place a seal. After all, we don't want to unwittingly give Satan an opening for yet more mischief. We are not oblivious to his sly ways. I don't want to give Satan more advantage to keep punching me in the same direction. You know what, what they call ghost meat? Eh? A ghost meat will keep hitting the iron in the same spot so that it can bring out something from it. If the devil keep hitting you on the same spot, you will fall. It's a matter of time. And there must be deliverance. Amen. And somebody say amen. amen. So second scripture is Obadiah chapter 1 verse 7. I like to bring strong revelation so that our prayer will not be just a shakabla prayer. For God to open you up, it begins with you with what? Salvation. That's why I say salvation is the beginning of God's intention for a man. But what God, the ultimate purpose why God saved you is for alignment. That your life must align to God's purpose. It's not possible except you are saved. You don't know the pain that God expressed when a man's life does not align. It's a frustration to God himself. When a man's life does not align to God's purpose. I want you to lay hands on your head and I want you to pray this prayer with all seriousness. Say in the name of Jesus. Whatever is wrong with my life 
Father, begin to fix it. Give me understanding and revelation. Give me boldness and increase my faith towards alignment. I desperately demand that my life must align to your purpose. A louder amen.